Now, when this vehicle was launched several months ago, I was busy and I couldn't attend the Renegade launch event. But you know what? I'm kind of glad that I didn't because here we are in Quebec, in Montreal, in classic Canadian winter conditions, getting to try out the Renegade for the first time. And this is the reason why Canadians have gravitated towards the small crossover vehicles from Jeep over the last several years because we drive in conditions like this. Well, sure, more and more manufacturers are adding all wheel drive to their lineups, but Jeep has had that in their back pocket all the way along. This definitely is an eye-catching Jeep and we're going to take it for a spin and check out its all-wheel drive capability in classic Canadian conditions. Designers have done a good job kind of retaining all those you know traditional Jeep cues. So you got the seven slot grille, the round headlamps, the trapezoidal wheel arches. So if you look at it I mean it was inspired by a lot of the, the features you see on a Wrangler. And when you get inside the vehicle you know the designers did a great job kind of retaining that rugged Jeep look and feel. So uh, they, did, they did a really good job and uh, you know when, when you do see one you, you, you know it's a Jeep, you immediately know it's a Jeep. Now before we get going out on the course I want to talk a little bit about this vehicle. It's built on the Fiat 500 L and X platform. That's the Fiat product that is different than the regular 500 and a lot of the goodness that's baked into those products is still here. You get a roomy cabin. This is a really nice size vehicle for a family that's looking for a city runabout. It's a small configuration a crossover is immensely popular these days. But what they've done is they've taken it and turned it into a Jeep. On the outside, there's no question it looks like a Jeep. They've done a fantastic job, I think, on the exterior styling. Inside, nice as well. You've got the new Jeep steering wheel. You've got the big screen in the center with all these round uh, gauges and dials that really look like the throwback Jeeps. The big grab handle on the front of the dash, nice looking trim. And there's all these little hidden things inside the vehicle that you start to find. Well, this one isn't so hidden. It's, it says since 1941, you see the Jeep thing on the top there. Uh, the speaker grills look like Jeep. There's all these little things they've done in here to make it unique and make it a Jeep product. So uh, functionality, this type of vehicle is where the market is going and uh, I think that they've got a nice package here. But we're going to take it out for a little spin. I'm going to talk a little bit about the all-wheel drive system because there's two available in this Renegade. You know, the Renegade is all new for 2015. It starts at 19995 It is a small SUV, so we think it'll appeal to that city urban dweller who appreciates the uh, small size yet wants all that Jeep capability and functionality uh, maybe for the weekends you know to get outside into the countryside and experience what Canada has to offer so you know it is aggressively priced it's well contented so we think it's going to bring people into the showroom and into the brand. Uh, the standard powertrain is 1.4 liter six speed manual that's the standard engine on the Sport and the North models you can opt up to a 2.4 liter which is paired with a nine speed automatic transmission which is uh, a class exclusive I know you, you, you see those kinds of transmissions on premium models but I don't think people expect that type of uh, feature down in this segment. We brought that down uh, uh, to the Renegade and it's very fuel efficient and, and I think people uh, are going to gravitate to that powertrain. So Canadians have been flocking to small SUVs and Jeep especially because of the all-wheel drive capability. Now there's two systems here. The first one is similar to the Jeep Cherokee, not the Grand Cherokee, the Jeep Cherokee. And what that has is the ability to decouple the rear wheels when there's no slip detected. Now on a day like today where we've got slippage because we're driving on snow and ice and because the temperature's cold, this is fully engaged. However, if you're driving in the summer, those rear wheels would disconnect and the whole drive line would stop spinning from the transmission back in order to save on fuel. So that's all good stuff. So that system is always working. In addition, you have the terrain select knob that's down here that lets you dial in all of the different systems that you want to use, whether it's for snow, mud, rocks, sand, or just leave it in auto. The auto works perfectly well. Now you can put it into snow and that really makes the traction and stability control system much more active. Then there's an additional all-wheel drive system that has a low setting and the ability to lock the torque front to rear and also have the ability to crawl along in low setting uh, for people who do some off-roading. This is a trail rated Jeep. It's not the highest trail rating they have, but certainly it has the capability to do some off-road duty. So yes, for the average consumer driving in winter conditions like this, it's going to do a fine job and those that need it to do some off-roading are going to have that available with the second all-wheel drive system. Now styling counts for a lot in the auto industry and you got to admit that they did a fantastic job turning this Fiat 500 
L or 500X into a Jeep. There's no question when you look at it that it's a Jeep product. It's got the right proportions, nice interior. I think a lot of people are going to gravitate towards this compared to the Compass and the Patriot. Now what's going to happen with those two vehicles? Are they going to be discontinued and fully replaced with Renegade? Well Chrysler's being tight-lipped on that, but I would suspect that's probably going to be the case. And this is a much better effort than the previous two models.